Okay. All right, everybody. Okay, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a funny ad. Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis here. Uh, how are you? <laughs> what a funny ad. Oh my goodness. Um, thanks so much for joining tonight, Cindy A. Lewis live. Um, we are doing crafts and games, but tonight we're going to do a live tutorial um, creating a tent card. So I hope you did get your supplies together. I had posted what they were. So how's everybody doing? Just a quick hello to everybody. How are you? I see Janice and, uh, let me see if I can get these over here on this screen so I can see the live chat. There we go. Hey, Pam. Hey, Janice. Hey, Judy and Carla. Hey, Melanie. Good evening. Hi, Debbie. Let's see who else is here. Uh, did I miss anybody? Madeline. Hey, Madeline. How are you guys doing today? Did you labor today or did you take today off? <laughs> uh, well, it's been a busy week. I was actually off work and had a ton of plans to take care of this room here. But we ended up um, working on our house and our uh, yard outside, which is good. We needed to do that. But um, but anyway, so glad to have you guys join tonight as we're going to do this create a card. And it is a tent card. Again, what you'll need for the supplies, I'll show you here what you're going to need. Oh, hey, Elizabeth, you made it. She's over there shopping with me on Crafters TV. So I don't know if anybody else watches Crafters TV, but I just love it. The inspiration is amazing. And uh, uh, Sara and her team are incredible. They do inspire me for sure. And um, they are amazing. Oh, you volunteered today. Awesome. Um, we had family over and so that was really kind of nice because we don't usually get to do that too often. Cleaning debts. Oh, it is. It is. Um, I'm sure your dad collected a lot of things and, uh, I know how that can be. So, aw, you guys, I'm so excited that you, you had the time to be here. If you're watching on replay, we are going to be, hey, Veronica, hey, Denise, we are going to be creating a card, so we're going to jump to that here pretty quick so that um, if anybody's watching on replay, that they are, um, you know, uh, not too late. Um, I'm going to scoot that over just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go over and show you the things that we're going to need for this. And, um, yeah, of course, you can make it whatever you want, but I'm going to make a fall card for myself. So I'm going to just click on this, and you can see... Um, We've got uh, scissors, tape, so I'm going to give everybody a chance to get their things together. Oh, Janice, thank you so much. I am using my Switcher Studio, so it's pretty cool that I can switch from camera to camera, and that will help. That will help. So thank you so much. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you what you need. So if you don't have it, you can get it, and then I'll do a little... A uh, little other intro here. So um, some kind of trimmer and some kind of way to score your card or um, fold it where you need to. Um, I'm going to use some foam pads for a little uh, level uh, up, a little um, depth to my card. You're going to need some kind of adhesive. So whether it is tacky glue or colal, the alcohol glue, um, this is really good for mats and layers, um, but you can definitely use tacky glue. I'm going to use a tape runner uh, and some ribbon, some jute. You can use scraps if you want to. 
I do have this cute burlap um, trim from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm going to really use that or not, but we'll see. Now, another thing that you're going to probably, um, you could do if you're going to make the card I'm going to use. Um, I'm trying to make this so that you're not using any uh, thing like any stamps or metal dies. But we will be doing those in the future. But this is maple leaves. They come like 50 in a package from uh, the Dollar Tree Crafter Square. So those are good to use for paper. My card is the base is going to be black and you can make your card base whatever color you want. We will also be using, um, did you call it Crafters Companion? Yeah, it is Crafters Companions TV. Um, they call it Crafters TV, but that's what it is. Hey, Anjali and Diane. You will need some white uh, cardstock as well. And then you're going to want your accent um, cardstock, your papers uh, from some paper pad. Now, since I'm doing fall, I'm going to use something from, from this one. I do have this Bow Bunny collection as well, but I don't, I'm not going to use that one. I just left it out to show you. But this one is so pretty, and it has such pretty papers in it. This will be great to use for um, my card. And um, for your, uh, specifically for your accents and your focal point, I thought, well, if you had uh, window clings from Dollar Tree, those are really inexpensive, and you can cut them out and put them onto white card and use that as your, um, you know, as your focal point on your card. Um, they have so many pretty ones, and, you know, it's really inexpensive because it's a dollar, and you don't have to stamp color or anything um, on any of them. So I did pick up a few of those. They also have uh, some uh, stamps. Um, these are, I found at Dollar Tree. It was, I haven't even been able to get them in my haul yet. Um, but these are really, really cute if you want to use any of these for your card. And then um, this one, uh-oh, what happened? Uh -oh. There we go. And then this one, is, these are stickers um, that are alphabets, and they're gold, and I'm going to put... Um, something behind them to make them stand out for the sentiment on the front. So um, these are the supplies. Dollar Tree also has these fun color your own ornaments. These are wooden and if you wanted to use something like this and color it in, you could definitely use it. What about the window clings, Debbie? The window clings are really beautiful, aren't they? And you can um, glue them onto backing and it'll work really, really good. So, yeah. Anyway, you can also take your papers and you can use um, any of the cutouts in your papers. You can kind of fussy cut around things and just make it whatever you like. So, I'm just going to start. I want to get everyone started here pretty quickly. And so, um, one thing that I want to do, though, is thank everybody for being here tonight. This one is a little bit different. Also, I want to um, also, let me try this here. There we go. Uh, I want to also let you know that you can support my channel. Um, you know, you can like the videos, give it a thumbs up. You can um, comment. Commenting is great. It gets it more in feeds. Um, you can share the video. Boy, this is shaking. You can share the video and you can, um, let me see what my paper. And then um, you can support my channel with the uh, super stickers. Ah, you need to move to the city, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I will tell you guys, these were in a haul that I did not too long ago. They do have other ones, but these apples and these are foxes, which are adorable. And you get eight in each package for a dollar. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, look for those. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do, the first thing that you need to do, oh, this paper pad. This is a Thankful Heart Recollections. 
And I believe I got this um, from a hot buy from Michael's some time back. So I've been using it for a couple of years. It is absolutely a beautiful paper pad. And I don't know um, if it's even out there anymore, but this has got to be one of my favorites, especially with these colors here. So you have the foxes, haven't seen the apples. Yeah. Hi, Leslie. Okay. So what the first step, what we need to do to make uh, our tent card is you need to cut your black. You need a five by seven and a five and a half by seven. This is our card blank. So I'm just going to do that. You guys uh, follow along and we're going to see how this works. <laughs> so we're going to make this seven and I'm just cutting this at seven and then I'm going to turn it and I need a five. I'll do the five and a half first. Make sure I've got this right. Five and a half by seven. All right, so this is my seven inch. And then this is my seven. Did I cut them both at seven? Oh, this is my five and a half. Okay. Actually, I cut that wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, so I need a seven and a half. Let me just do this right before I totally get you guys thrown off. We just had company here and I'm just like, ah, la, 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 la. Okay, so I need a seven, five by seven card. So I needed a seven and a half by five. Okay, seven and a half. All right, got that one right. Now I need a seven, a five by seven piece. So this one is seven, and I'm gonna make this five. All right, here we go. So I have a five by seven piece, and then I have a five and a half by seven. So you see this one is just a little bit longer Let's see if you can see that with the light. And so we're gonna score at a half an inch. Yeah, oh, you haven't, huh. Dollar Tree has some really good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna set these others aside. Now, to make your tent card, we're gonna score this half an inch, because remember this is seven and a half by five, and this is seven by five. Right, so we need to score the half an inch. So I have my scoreboard here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so we can put that together. All right, so this is my scoreboard. You can see my inches here. So I'm at seven, this is where I want, and this is my half. So I'm gonna score it at, uh, I need it at seven, right? Okay, so now you can see my score line here, my half inch score line. I do not know what's going on. Does my video keep stopping on you guys? Or is it staying up? All right. Now I'm gonna fold my half inch score line. Okay. All right, so you can see that lip there now. it the other way. All right, so now I have a half inch score line and it's going to fit on my card, on my back card like that. You see that? All right, so now I need to put my tape runner on. I'm going to do both sides because I want to do tape, tape to tape. You haven't found anything at your local store? Keep checking back. Oh, all right. Well, keep looking because it's gonna be out there. Sometimes it just takes a little bit. All right, so I'm putting tape there and I'm gonna do one strap there. So this is gonna tell me that my tape is going to really stick well because I have tape to tape, right? 
All right, and you probably, if you watch Crafters TV, TV you've heard um, Sarah t say that. So what I wanna do is I wanna put my, my back to my front, really get it on there, and then press it down. Now a tape runner um, is usually pretty good, um, but it needs you to put that pressure on it. So now I have my tent card as, as I, a long one. So I'm off a little bit. I'm not sure why that cut that way, but that's easy to fix. I can just trim it. And if you don't want to trim it with scissors, trim it with your trimmer. It's like an eighth of an inch off. I don't know why. All right. So now I have my card and it will stand up and it's the long way. So now I have my card that is um, five by seven on both sides. Five by seven. Now I could, oh, you can't see it. All right. So it's five by seven. All right. So now what I need to do is I need my paper. And in this craft um, video, craft along, what we're doing is we're doing it together. So um, that way, you know, I don't have anything pre-prepared. So what I want to do is I want a piece of um, cardstock. I want something to go in the back. Let's see what I want. Let's do this one. And then I want a second one. You don't have to do a second one if you don't want to. You can choose to do just one for your um, one mat. But I'm gonna do that one and then, oh, I like this one. I wonder if that would look good on there. These are made to go together, but you never know. Let's see, do you guys like that together? Am I caught up here? Somehow my video got behind. All right. Let's see. I will like the green better, I think. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first sheet that is going to be the back mat on my card. And so if this is five by seven, then this one needs to be a quarter of an inch smaller. So this one's going to need to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I'm taking a quarter of an inch off of each one. So my five by seven, I'm going to go here. All right. So this is going to be four and three quarters this way, and then six and three quarters this way. Now, one thing that you might consider is if you don't want to use up your paper, you can cut out the middle and save your paper that way because you're just going to cover it up. So this is going to be my first mat. You see how that's going to fit on there? So then the second mat that I'm gonna have on there is going to be four and a half. So I'm taking it down another quarter. And then six and a half. All right. Are you guys getting all these measurements? All right. So here we've got our five by seven tent card. This is our base. Then we're gonna have our first mat layer, and then the second mat layer. So we're gonna have some color on there. Can you guys see that all right? Okay, now if you want a bigger layer, you can definitely do that. And you can do it, um, <clears throat> you want the measurements written out? I can do that. I can put it on the video, but let me let me write them down so that you can see them also. That would be good. All right, so let me grab my 
handy dandy paper. I'm gonna write it kind of big. So we're doing the five by seven tent card. Okay, and I was gonna have all these written down already, but things got too crazy. All right, so this is five by seven. So the first layer, the first matte layer is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I will type this into the description. Then the second matte layer is going to be four and one half by six and one half. So you guys can see that? All right. So good question, Elizabeth. Hey, Debbie, who's watching with you? Your niece? Awesome. All right. So that's our measurements for our layers. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my, um, my first matte layer on. Now, I'm going to use um, this Colal uh, glue because it gives me a little time in case I don't get it quite down right because it is liquid, but it's going to dry really hard and it, it will look really good. So uh, you can use your tape runner if you want to, uh, whichever kind of tape runner you have, whatever adhesive you have, or you can use your tacky glue. It will work as well. So I'm just going to take my Colal glue and I'm going to go around and I'm going to stick it down. I want to make sure I get it on the edges. And I want to make sure that I spread it pretty good. And then, so here is my front. I want to make sure I'm on the front. And I want to lay it down pretty good. And if it's not quite right, you know, line it up. Then you want to press down. You do want to give it some heat friction from your finger to press it down. That'll help it, right? So now you've got that. Then the next layer, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna put it down with your adhesive. And I'm just gonna do this really. I love this glue, by the way. This is one of my favorite glues. So I wanna make sure I get it all to the edge because I wanna make sure it, all right. Then I'm gonna put this one down. There we go. Okay, if this, glue, this uh, alcohol glue, does seep out, you can rub it off. Now this will dry pretty hard and it will look awesome. So it won't like soak into the paper. It just evaporates. All right, all right. So now we have the basis of our card. It's gonna stand up, stand up like this and you're gonna have your um, whatever on the front. So I know you can't really see that from the top, but that's what it looks like. All right, so now the next thing you wanna do is decide what your focal point will be. Now, like if I decided I wanted to use something out of my paper pad, I could cut that out. I could even cut out some of these words to go on the inside, but um, I don't wanna do that quite yet. Then I also, uh, I have these clings that I think are just amazing. And I, I was trying to decide which one I wanted to do the most. Hi, Terry Lynn. Hey, guys. I see you guys all getting on. Yay. I hope you're following along okay. If you have any questions, I'm not really seeing questions except for the measurements. So let me know. All right. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to see. So one thing that's cool with these window clings is because they're, they're um, like a temporary, uh, you know, temporary cling thing. You can see if it'll fit. And if it doesn't fit, then you can change it, right? <laughs> so I really like that one if it's perfect. But what I want to do is I think I'm going to pull it down just a little bit so I can put a sentiment up here, like Hello Fall, which is what I like to do. And so what I'm going to do now, and, and I, was, I was going to put this on white card. 
So maybe I will do that because it will stand out a little bit more. Or maybe I'll put on the black. Let's see what the black looks like. One thing too, whenever you have this kind of um, project, you can definitely decide what you want as you go. So I'm going to go with this. So I don't know if you have all your supplies. Did Patty make it on? I love pumpkins too. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some glue on this. I think I'll use the same, uh, I think I'll use some tacky glue. Make sure it sticks well. So I'm just gonna put some glue on this before I put it down. Let's see, here we go. Ooh, and it comes out good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread that around a little bit, not with my card there. All right, because that happens. All right, so um, if you already have something to be the, the on your front of your card, you're fine. This is what I'm using because with the window clings, I get a lot, you know, for my dollar. All right, so I'm gonna take my window clean. I'm just, this is extra cardstock. I'm just gonna put it on here and spread it out. All right, now, how many of you know what color that tacky glue will be when it dries? Who knows? I'm gonna grab a wet wipe. Who knows? What color will the tacky glue be when it dries? I think I'm waiting for you to catch up to me. All right. Let me know what you think. All right. While this is drying, I'm going to start cutting it right around this edge here. All right. How are you guys coming along? Any questions? Are you following along? Are you just watching? It will be clear. Ding, ding, ding. Good, good answer. The tacky glue will be clear when it dries. Very good. Excellent. So I am just following along this window clings already cut little edge. So it has this little edge. And so the tacky glue will be clear but the behind this will be the black. So I think that'll look good. Now another thing, if you find that you missed a little bit, you can put a little glue under there and fix it, right? So good job. All right. So who loves pumpkins? I don't know if you love to eat them, you love to, to decorate with them. Who loves pumpkins? Doing good? Awesome. Pumpkins are a really fun symbol of harvest, right? All right, so I've got my pumpkin on here. I think I missed a little dab of glue right here on this edge, so I want to spread a little bit. Spread the love, spread some adhesive. Yeah, you like pumpkins too, Anjali? Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna set this on here and see how it'll look. I think it'll look great after it dries. but then that'll give it some stability. So hopefully it will look great. All right, love pumpkins? Yeah, me too, they're so fun. Okay, so we have um, this ready to go. All right, I hope it dries clear, but I do love that. Now, if you didn't like it, you know, like and you were just say, oh, I don't like that, and you wanted to do something different, you could just stick that on like that. So what if I decided, so I can do two cards, right? So what if I decided, hey, I wanted to do um, this pumpkin spice. I really like that, by the way. 
What if I wanted to do this um, pumpkin spice uh, latte? I could do that too, you know, instead. So you, with the window clings, you can definitely, boy, this one's really sticking out. I think it would stick forever. This one says, ah, this one says floor and wall decor. This one says window clings. So maybe this one is more of a sticker because it sure does feel like a sticker. Reusable decorations. It says reusable decorations. Remove the cling from the backing and apply to the surface. Remove the air bubbles. So this one I kind of like a lot. Huh. This one's different, you guys. So that's pretty cool. All right. I think I'm going to let my pumpkins dry. But you could definitely do this. But I'm going to set them aside. I like this. This is really pretty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it on. Um, this way. Because I don't even have to have adhesive on that one. Look at that. Oh, here you are. There you go. Pretty cool. All right. Now, I do have some fun leaves. And in this package, there's a couple of burlap leaves, which are really cute. And there's a couple of different colors. So let's see. There's a green. Let's see. I want to see if they have any other ones in this package. All right. So you have your leaves. You can... You can definitely put them however you want. Um, I don't really want them to take away from this picture too much. I would like for them to add to it. So you could put it behind your picture. So since this is reusable, you can take it off. So everyone's gonna have a different picture, I'm sure. I'm gonna set that out of the way. All right. So what you might want to do is go ahead and find you a couple of leaves. I don't like that one. And if they're too big, like these leaves might be a little too big for what you're looking for and see what it looks like with that. All right. So what I can do is take some glue or take my tape pen and just adhere it to my card. So I'm going to put this one here, okay, and then I'll take this green one. This one's more like burlap. It's really cool. I'm just going to go ahead and put on with a different tape, just so you 